Yo, it's uh, Wednesday, February something, 2022. YC's in Atlanta. We at Aperture Rent, as you can see. It's a special day because we're going to get this um, R3. Here's the uh, R3 in all its glory. The first, the first look. Nice. Oh, it's light. <laughs> it's light. <laughs> Yo, first, first impression. It's lightweight. Still got the big charger. I'm excited. This is the, this is the only one in Aperture Rent. He said I was that lucky guy. <laughs> that was his word. So we, we're about to swap over to this joint actually right now. I think we got it. Yo, we're on the R3. Super light. Got the screen. Looking good. Skin tones look good. It's tracking my eye fast. On the screen, I can see it says 17 millimeters, and then if I zoom in, it tells me what millimeter is that. That's tight. I need to get my ND filter on here, but for now, it's looking good. It doesn't look blown out on my skin. That's one problem that I have with the R5. I feel like when I put it in auto ISO, it blows my skin tones out, and I hate that because I have white skin, and it just gets so damn bright. <laughs> uh, what now? Some pictures? Uh, something, something. Do something cool. Rap no foul. Stop what you're doing right now. Pick up your phone and search and see if you have a Papa Do's in your city. If you do, make sure you go there and you get the dirty dirty because I'm halfway through this drink and I'm feeling like we might need to take a break before we go take pictures. And take a picture of your drink like this. Drink check. All right, back to the vlog. <laughs> All right, that drink was extremely good. So make sure that you check and see if you got a Papa Do's and go grab you one for real. Uh, next up, we shot a couple clips in 120 frames per second, 4K for IG reels. And I haven't even used them. I didn't even make anything out of it, but maybe I will later. I don't know. I was also just trying to test out the quality of the pictures as well. So I had YC take a couple pictures of me for a sponsorship that I had. Shout out to Cuts, best clothes ever. And I also took some pictures of YC and I got to color them down. And I actually colored these using my old CR1 Lightroom presets and they came out crispy. After that, we lounged around until nighttime so we could get some low light shots and test the low lights, see what pictures look like in the low light. And uh, all of it looked pretty good. These shots were nice. All right. Yeah. There's the vlog right there. We're taking a pause in the vlog because I gotta let you know that this video is sponsored by Skillshare. Don't go nowhere, listen. All right, Skillshare is an online platform where you can explore creativity and learn new things and it's got tons of cool classes. Thanks to Peggy Dean, I've been getting more into my uh, crafts bag. I guess that's what you call it. Uh, I got this fancy uh, new pen right here. It's like a ink paintbrush pen. I also got some paint. I also got some paint brushes. I've been uh, messing around making these new products, but all because of like Skillshare and exploring like Peggy Dean's class about painting. Yo, Skillshare is very beneficial. Skillshare has classes on video and video editing. Skillshare also has classes on photo and photo editing. And not only that, they also have classes on graphic design. They have classes on so many different things. You could just learn an abundance of things. So you can use my link below right now and the first 1000 creatives will get 30 days free, free. And once you're in, you can learn as much as you want. You can watch as much as you want. It's just undeniable. <laughs> yeah, I gotta get back to the vlog. Click the link down below. Get you some free learning, man. Free learning. Let's get back to the vlog. It wasn't up. <laughs> My video wasn't even ready yet. Hold on, I gotta click the button. It only makes sense. Click the button to go back into the video, right? Let's do it. All right, it's the next day. We are out riding around right now. It's about 5.30. We're trying to find a spot so we can start taking some photos. Can't tell you about everything we're doing, but yeah. We're going to find, we're looking for some spots in Atlanta right now. I'm making this video right now with the R3 and the 16 millimeter, just to show the quality with this cheap lens on this very expensive camera. That'll be coming to the channel as well, so look out for that. Yeah. <laughs> I just realized that I didn't talk anything about the GH6 and that's because I never really picked it up but one time and after I picked it up, 
I didn't want to pick it up anymore. <laughs> when I first got my hands on it, it was right here in the living room while C was doing some editing. I just picked it up and was playing with it. I was trying some out, uh, trying out some photos of my son just walking around, and the autofocus was first of all terrible. It was jumping all over and made this weird little look before it actually locked in on the autofocus, like an over sharpened, blurry look. I didn't like that, so I ended up just deleting the photos, and I didn't even get any photos to even try to color down in Lightroom and test that feature. What I also instantly noticed when I picked up the camera is that it was really like metal and heavy and clunky feeling. Is clunky a word? <laughs> I don't know. It just felt like really metally, and I didn't like that. It didn't feel good in my hand, to my opinion. So that just totally scratches it off the list uh, as a daily content creator camera like Canon and Sony. They're they're good. They're they're good content daily content creators. But this one got scratched off the list instantly after the feel because I can't do that every day. And lastly, video. I didn't even play with the video. Um, YC did. You can go check out his video. Um, there should be a link up here where you can go check out his vlog and see how the video looked. I think that his video looked good. He's really good at coloring, you know, video down and stuff. And I think that the video came out good. But personally for me, I don't think that I would want to use it daily. I might use it on projects like music videos or, you know, I don't know, ads, commercials. I don't know. But I, I like the camera to feel good in my hand. And another thing, it was just too many video settings. There's so many settings, the menu, it was just overwhelming for me. So I would not even be wanting to go in there. And I know that you probably learn it after time, you know, get, you'd get used to it, but I don't wanna get used to um, a menu setting that I don't like. That's why I use Canon, that's why I stick with Canon. And yeah, that's that's how I feel about the GH6. All right, we found, some, we found a spot and parked and we're at the M parking deck over by Grady, doing some ratchet stuff. We don't know if we have permission to be up here. I don't know, but we're coming up here and trying to take a nice picture of the city back here. Just looks like a good spot. This Did I mention that this looks so good? Just look at the lighting right here. It is flame. You can't. This this cloudy. Yeah, this is looking good. camera was overheat. We've been out shooting all day but not continuously. It's been like on and off. It was just random. I don't know. The camera felt a little warm but not like hot. So it did do that but it didn't stop me or anything like that so we're still going. I'm still rolling. We down here. It looks cool. This is a little low light test I guess. Looks pretty good. It's pretty good. Let's see. The ISO is at 1600. 50 on the shutter. 2.8 on the 16 millimeter right here. I like it. Getting some cool pictures. Uh, just seeing how the low light photo works. Seeing how the low light video works right here, obviously. I don't even know how good you, I'm also testing the audio right here because I don't have a mic on here. I'm seeing how the audio sounds without having a mic on the camera. I don't know, you let me know how it sounds. Drop a comment down below. Here. All right, it's Monday. Um, I got to keep this R3 over the weekend. I shot a project with it. Um, it actually overheated on me. I'm about to take it back to Aperture right now because it's my my time with it is up. It actually overheated on me shooting in 4K 120s. I was super surprised. Yeah, I'm about to take the joint back. And um, it's been fun shooting with it. Uh, I'm making a little review video on it. So you'll see that there, but it's been cool. It's a really nice camera. I like the colors. I like everything about it. I'll talk about it more in that review. So if you want to see that, there might be a link down here below. I don't know when it's dropping, but, or up top. Damn it. I don't know. It's up there somewhere. <laughs> Let me take this back, man.